Welcome to Million Dollar Money Drop. Today the main theme is the USA art and architecture in the 20th century. This century is characterized by two world wars, the Great Depression and a Cold War and by many social, political and cultural changes like the new role of women in society, the arrival of Marx's ideas or the development of internet. So here is the question, which movement does the AT&T building belong to? Art Deco is an artistic movement that affected decorative arts and design, architecture, fashion, paintings and other. This style was common in several countries but in the US it began in the year 1920, mingling with the local planning requirements and the pre-Columbian sources of inspiration. This style is characterized by ornamental abundance, the use of luxurious materials and the combined use of geometric and floral. Therefore, its concern was more decorative than functional. A good example of Art Deco movement is William Van Allen and his The Crisde Building's author. He was born in Brooklyn in 1983. The Crisde Building was started in 1928 and completed in 1930, when the US was deeply into the economic depression after the Wall Street crash of 1929, which gave a boost to Nazism. It's located between 42nd Street and Lexington Avenue. It was meant to be the tallest skyscraper in the world, so the dome had to change, since the Great Severance Building wanted to achieve this challenge too. The organic architecture criticized rationalism and orthogonal forms that were dehumanized and monotonous. It became an architecture in which individual human aspects prevail and in which use all kinds of materials avoiding mass production and straight lines. The best known example of organicism is the Guggenheim Museum. In 1943, Frank Lloyd Wright designed a building, the Museum of Non-Objective Painting, which had been established by Salomon Guggenheim in 1939. The most characteristic aspect of this building are the curved lines and external niches, which give this building a distinctive look. In the 70s, some architectural currents appear in USA, which mark actual trends such as postmodern architecture, the constructive architecture, or high tech. We are going to focus on the first one. Postmodern architecture was a 70s movement which was against rationalism. This style was based on functional architecture with straight lines and geometric shapes without ornamental elements and using materials like iron or reinforced concrete. New materials are integrated in the urban and classical environment and there is a construct between the inner and the outer. One of the most important architects of this period is Philip Johnson. He was the director of the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, MoMA, and he designed the most important postmodernist buildings of the USA, the AT&T Building, now the Sony Building in New York. Another important American architect was Michael Graves, and he designed the Humana Building in Louisville and the Portland Public Service Building. Pop art is a 20th century art movement that developed primarily in USA and also Great Britain. Techniques of consumerism and popular culture were used, and it was born as a reaction against abstract expressionism. Pop art represents figures in everyday objects, such as scambles of guns and advertisements. Also, pop art in the 1960s and 70s was consonant with those decades of protest and social dissent, in which many Americans were active against the establishment and supported civil rights, feminism, anti-war, and many youth movements. The Second World War divided the world into the USSR and the United States, which represented communism and capitalism. Andy Warhol is the giant of pop art. He started doing advertising in New York City, where he gained fame. He also made films, sculptures, paintings of famous personalities, etc. Campbell's soap cans are his best known work. At first, each canvas appears the same, but there are some differences besides the type of soap in each can. There are minor changes in the style, size and color of words. Today, the Campbell soap cans are part of New York's Museum of Modern Arts collection. Now it's your turn! Where are you going to put the money? <laughs> 